Hello everybody, Lou and Jimmy again. Uh, you know, this month uh, we're going to have a simple taste test. We're only going to taste test Snapples. Okay, normally we do some type of liquor, but we definitely don't want people to think we're alcoholics and, you know, but we just like to taste test things. So we're sitting out here in 16 degree days. You know, that's what it is today. Just to bring our message to you. So uh, we figured it would be nice to, you know, these are nice and cold. They've been in the truck overnight. So we're going to test Snapple, the regular lemon, the peach, and the raspberry tea. But, uh, you know, Lou, since he's from New York and I'm from Jersey, and you know we got some of the close, toughest gun laws in the United States. So we're briefly going to touch on that because, you know, some of the things that, like, you know, Governor Cuomo, he thinks he's going to run for president, but here he passed laws and senators and congressmen, New York State passed them right away, you know, with flying colors of limiting how many bullets, you know, you could put in a gun. And they didn't even write in that they, the police officers, you know, are immune from the laws that they passed. It's crazy. Okay, you know, I'm not a gun owner and I'll never have a gun and I shouldn't have a gun, you know. I just don't like them, you know, but I don't mind law-abiding citizens to have them. And if they go through all the paperwork and everything, I don't see a problem with it, okay? Uh, and one of the things, I had breakfast today with a good friend of mine, Bob, and, you know, he's a real statistic type of guy. And, you know, when England did away with guns a number of years ago, crime just skyrocketed, rapes. Okay, just skyrocketed, you know, and people can't protect themselves, and the amount of intrusion of robberies that come in and everything, and, you know, the government wants to take it away. There's got to be some, some place on the fence, you know, to balance both <coughs> of these things, you know. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, and then we'll do a little taste testing, and, uh, you know, next month uh, we're going to have an exciting one for you. We're going to do single malt liquor. Well, I could go for that today. Jeez. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll go inside up. and we'll do a little <laughs> sample. Which one you want to try first? Oh, uh, let's try uh, raspberry. Okay, raspberry. You know, shake it up a little bit. You know, we're doing a real basic today. No glasses, no straws. It's just too cold. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. The best. Well, look at Texas. They have a. Uh, they're allowed to carry firearms. And everything and they they got a low crime rate in Texas. I guess some of the other states too that uh Yeah. You know, well like Arizona they always had, you know, uh, you know, people uh, you know, uh, walking around with guns, little old ladies. Yeah. And you know, partly, you know, they got like coyotes and things and they live in the open and yeah. you They're know on but, their own. But even the kids are well trained, you know, uh, in the family, you know, to you know, they're used to that, to going out and shooting guns. In a big city like New York City and where I live in Jersey, you know, police, it's not really part of what you do. And if you call the police, you got many, many cops that will show up right away. You know, you go in rural, rural areas, you know, it could take the cop a half an hour to get right, there. Right, An old lady on the farm, uh, yeah. by that time somebody come in the house. Yeah. So, it's too late. What do you think about the raspberry tea? Nice, nice and cold. Mm, it is cold. Yeah. I'm against all the assault rifles. I don't think we need those or anything. Maybe just the police and the, uh, the government forces could have them. You know, no need for normal citizens to have like assault rifles. Well, you, you know, one of the things, you bring up a good point, and, um, you know, one of the things that's public record normally is uh, the coroner's report. Okay, why in Newtown, you know, which let's all face it, you know, it's a tragedy of what happened, you know, to the 20, uh, uh, 28 people there, you know, uh, but, um, you know, why, does, why isn't the coroner's report out to saying what they were really shot with? You know, I mean, there's a lot of conspiracy people, I'm not one of them, but say that, you know, that
that there's a conspiracy, and every time something like this has happened, the government wants to take away your guns. You know, I don't know. That's uh, crazy, though. I can't, can't see. There's <coughs> probably zillions of guns in this yeah. country. You never could take them away. Uh. But, you know, when you go by the FBI statistics, okay, 90% of the murders, <clears throat> which I think there were 18,000 in one year, Okay, 90% of them were people that already had a criminal record. So they're not using legal guns anyway. So why are you penalizing everybody else? You know, I don't think that's fair. It's true. It's true. You know, so, uh, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? There's 180,000 deaths every year for motor vehicles. Okay? I don't know. I never walked down the block and a Ford was driving down following me to run me over without anybody behind the wheel. So it's the same thing with the gun. It's not the gun that's killing the people, it's people behind the gun. It's true. Okay? But in some of the states, like New York, remember when we grew up that most people that were mentally ill were wards of the state? And then, you know, the state was happy to release them into the outside world because they didn't have to pay for their medical. It's true. So, you know, I think you were better off locking up some of these few people. Right. Like, even in the case of Connecticut, okay, the mother made somewhat of a mistake. And, you know, she was licensed, she took classes, she was at the range all the time. She just didn't keep the guns away from yeah. her child. She didn't have them locked up either. They were out in the open. Yeah. Easy so, accessible. You know, Peach, it's even, it's so cold that it's even hard to just open up the bottles here. <laughs> Let's try Peach. Peach. This is normally my favorite. You know, sometimes I'll go to get some Chinese food and I'll always like washing it down with a peach ice steak. Oh, this isn't diet peach, it's regular peach. Huh? Regular peach. We're not on diets today. Tastes like peach. Snapper really has it down pat making these things. The size of the neck and everything, it's just the perfect size. So you get a good mouthful, so you drink it quick and it'll make you go buy another one. Remember when the beer yeah. bottles used to be like the wide opening? Uh, Chuggalugs like these to call them. They used to have the big wide opening on them, the beer bottles, years ago. Really? That I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. What I always liked as a kid was chocolate egg creams. Yeah. They were good. Yeah. In Brooklyn, there's not even any uh, candy stores that are, uh, you know, fountain service anymore. Yeah. Chocolate egg creams, uh, lime rickles. You know, some of the talking heads on TV and radio, you know, they're starting to refer to President Obama as king. You know, and... I don't have a problem because he is acting kind of like a king with a lot of things because normally when you do an inauguration speech you say we, okay, it's him and I, okay, so what happens, at least separate the two please people. The king and I. Okay, it, yeah, king and I, <coughs> or King Barack, okay, or President Obama. Okay, please, if you're going to call him president, stick with the Obama, just like it was always President Bush or President Nixon. Okay, separate out the two. I kind of think he's like a king, too. You know, that he's more known as a king these days. You know, but um, I'd still like to give him the respect of being a president and call him President Obama if, if I'm going to use that term. All right. I like to call him king. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so... Uh, we're going to go with the regular lemon tea now. We'll try that. And, um, you know, we're going to cut this short because I'm shivering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lou's doing the same. It's cold. Well, what about Beyonce uh, lip singing the uh, national anthem at the inauguration? Yeah. You know, she is. Now she's going to do the Super Bowl, too. Mm, good. Oh, the old standby lemon tea. Which one do you like the best? Well, I'm going to go with raspberry today. Really? I definitely like the peach. I've always been uh, peachy to the peach. So the I think the peach. You know, I really don't have a problem with them links lip syncing. Okay? You know, I mean, you know, you don't know what's going to go bump. You know, the, the, I mean, she's very talented. She's very pretty. You know, uh, and, uh, 
even what was the other one? Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. I mean, even if she uh, lip synced, you know, I I wouldn't care. You know, so many technical problems could go on and bump. It. You know, somebody's walking along. You know, you got all the Secret Service, and you know, it's a lot of confusion. Day, all you need is somebody to knock a court, you know, power cord out, and you know, it, it wouldn't have the yeah. same effect yeah. and everything. So. You know, it Everybody worries me chaos, so much so. more. You bring up such a good point, Lou. It worries me so much more that in this country, the news, which was on all the stations last night, ABC, NBC, CBS, about her lip syncing, compared to what still went on that we don't have an answer to right. for, you know, those four people that got killed in the embassy. Right, and look at the, even the Notre Dame, the guy from Notre Dame. That made the front pages for, for a week already. With the internet, he had a imaginary girlfriend, or he wasn't imaginary. Or somebody put him on, and he did it himself. It's, I Is don't that know. crazy that, <laughs> that our news, you know, on, our three on new biggest news stations, are following things like that instead of what's really happening in the country and what effect we're having in the world? What happened to the days of Walter Cronkite and uh, Huntley Brinkley and Jim Jensen, local. He was great, Jim Jensen. He was a yeah. But was he's a still alive. He passed away. Oh, he passed away. Yeah. There is one guy on one of the channels, you know, kind of like a crew cutty type of guy. He's pretty good. Right. You know, I can't think of his name. That's who I... Not Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs? No, no not Lou Dobbs. You know. But yeah, you're right. Ernie Anastas. There were some uh, really good people yeah. along the way. You know. Well, anything it's, else for this month? Nah, I'm going inside. Yeah, no, it's really cold. Oh, Super Bowl. We yeah. got the Super Bowl coming up. Oh, man. That, you know, I really like to see New England lose. They can't yeah. lose enough for me. That was you good. Know, working for a company that was based out of Boston up there, I learned to not like those people up there to begin with. <laughs> You know, but, uh, you know, I kind of like the, you know, the Ravens, you know, I mean, not that they were my team, but, uh, you know, it was close enough that if you want to go to Baltimore and see a game, so uh, I'm hoping for the Ravens to win. I'm going for the 49ers. 49ers, uh, Steve Young, Guy Hart fan. Yo, Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Yeah. yeah those were the good days yeah. of football. Next year, the Giants will be back again where they belong. Yeah. At the Super Bowl. So don't worry about the limp, uh, lip sinking at the Super Bowl. That's fine. Okay? Don't have a problem with that. It's a lot more enjoyable. They're good singers. They're well entertainers. Okay? Please don't make an issue out of that. Let's all enjoy the game. And one of the best things about, you know, the Super Bowl is that they still have the American flag, you know, laid out, you know, uh, across the field, and they don't let it touch the ground. You know, the, the planes fly overhead, okay? They sing a few old uh, songs that are traditional, you know, Star Spangled Banner and stuff. And um, maybe if you really want to see things get embedded in this, in this country, okay, maybe you should let prayers, you know, all the politicians that took the prayers out of, out of school, maybe we need them to go back into school. So just like we finish every month, God, God bless, bless America. America. See you next month. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Bye.